All right, this is game four of the game against X State, and this is going to be the replay review for Andrew. Oh my gosh, starting off with epilepsy. Yeah, everything's fine here. You can maybe flip to get to back post a little bit quicker. And that way you would already be turning around, you'd have a better angle at this. Because now this gets awkward. You missed the boom, that's alright, I know you're going for it. Here I think you're following the play a little too close again. Because after this 50, it'll just be going too fast for you to react to it. Like, you're you're too far up. If you were just a little bit back, you could turn a better angle at this. And yeah, the reason you miss is because you're too far up and that's why you have to hit to the side. Otherwise, you gotta have a perfect angle to shoot on net. A way to get out though. You probably didn't have to go all the way back. You're you, right here. What? I don't know. Okay. Right here. Don't use any more boost. You're already going supersonic. I don't think that side boost is there. Uh, you're already going supersonic, so don't use any more boost. And just keep going forward. Grab that boost pad that's right in front of you. Turn around. Grab one more boost pad middle. You're at 45 boost back into play. But now you're all the way over here. And you use all that boost, and now you're like back in play. Nice, wait, I'll play him to the side. Yeah, dunk, that's alright. You're a passing option, perfect. And you flip out as soon as. Yeah, that was, that was really good. As soon as you realize this pass isn't coming to you, you get out. A way to play fast, Brady's getting back, so you know you're safe to commit to this. Boom. Beautiful. Bangers. Okay, good. Yep. Way to play fast. Oh, that was the one that you barely missed. I would have done the same thing. I'm a scrub. I'm bad at double touches. Good attempt. Here, I think you make this really awkward for Brady. I think... You get this, you see that Brady's moving forward, let him be the target for the pass off the backboard. You can flip forward. But when you turn in, it's like it makes it scary for him. Like I want to see this from Brady's perspective. Yeah, he would have he would have been able to go for that. He shouldn't have gone all the way back for boost. So he should have been a little bit closer. He uses all his boost, so he doesn't have boost. He could be right here, sitting with 36 boost, if he didn't go all the way back. And he would be going for that. But because he sees you going, he has to turn back. And I know it might be a little bit harder because you are a much faster player than the rest of them. So it might be like hard to sit and wait. But I think you just have to have to give them the confidence to play faster. Because then they hesitate because they always make sure that you're not coming. And this this is that thing that you said at the end of the games. So you're like, oh, we gave them too much space. But it's not that you were too far away from the ball that gave them too much space. It's the transition out of out of offense and we're going back to defense here since you already cut brady off and forced him to rotate back it, this is your job to pressure this ball and make sure that they are not having possession you have plenty of boost you don't have to go back to get boost you know brady's back to play defense you should stay on ball cam and just shadow this play try to cut off the pass go for a 50 right now but when you're flipping back like this they have all the time in the world like you had 56 boosts you didn't you didn't need this one at all you could have picked up another boost pad and had plenty That's fine. The back the play is cutting across, so back post now is the left post. Noah has that. You gotta you gotta trust Noah on this. This is why we have so many double commits on defense. I know it's like it's scary, right? Like you don't know if one of them are probably coming for a shot. But like Noah's there, you have to just let Noah do his thing. Because because you do this, this is why you end up going for so many solo plays. Because you kind of take it from them, and then you take their boosts, and then they have to just grab boosts and go back. I mean, Noah actually is grabbing boosts, and he probably could have stayed up and been a passing option. And I think we need to go for pass passes more. Uh, the better teams we keep playing, which we're only going to get better and better, and we're only going to play better and better teams, we're only going to be in higher and higher divisions, solo plays are going to start working less and less. Like, very rarely do you see solo plays work in RLCS. It's always passing plays is how they get all their goals, because defenders are going to get better and better. 
so we have to learn how to pass. <laughs> this is unfortunate. No, it is. No, I, I would. I didn't see him either. Oh, that's funny. At this point, you need to do one of two things. You got bumped. You had to go front post here. You grab this boost right now. You either have to fully commit to just getting out of the play and just go back post, or you have to fully commit to being a passing option. You can't just sit here and shadow the play. I'm being extra nitpicky on you because I know that you can take it and you are really good at this game. Here, you could go left up the wall because you know that Brady's coming at the ball right now and you could be a passing option to break out of defense. And I think that's what we need to focus on. We need to break out of defense better. We like end up just dancing around on defense and having these dinky saves and it feels really scary all the time. I guess you did steal their boost from them. But theoretically, that like could have been Brady could have committed to that and gone for the boost himself. But way to keep your speed and uh, get the clear. Really good attempt. I wonder if you could just. I feel like you could jump off and hit it right to Noah instead of going for the shot. And you go all the way back here. I'm gonna make you watch it again. You see this. You see that we're on offense. You see we have possession. And you use the boost too. The boost that you had, you used it. You get 12 here. You are going like almost supersonic with that wave dash. And you use it. You just go forward and grab pads. Be back in the action. You would have been on this ball. This would have been yours. Oh, it still is. But it shouldn't have been. That would have been a crazy angle. And I, I think here, like, this angle is too nuts to hit. Like, yeah, you might hit it and it's going to be awesome. But this is why I think we do, we, we're in free play too much. You don't have to go for this. Hit it hard off the backboard. One more, hit it with just the straight up nose of your car, hard off the backboard. But because you go for the crazy angle and don't get it, it's too far for Noah to reach. If this would just been hard off the backboard, Noah would have had the easiest shot of the fight. But now he's like stretching for the shot and doesn't quite get it. Really good attempt at going for possession because you had zero passing options right here. You could have maybe boomed this because they're they're pushed really far up. Uh, but you had to slow down for it anyway. So you wouldn't have had a good boom. Yeah, this is really good. Really good. And good rotation out rather than cutting in for that ball. Uh, you maybe didn't have to swing back this far. You could have shadowed a little bit more and gone up the wall. Because, yeah, you this little swing right here is the reason you didn't get to this 50. This, this right here. Grab that pad and then go to the ball. But you swing out here and then turn, and you gave him too much space. And I think, yeah, grabbing this pad, grabbing this boost right here, it is so underrated how good turning up the corner wall is you are actually such a good passing option when you do that now granted i don't know how often no and brady are going to pass it to you unless you call for it when you turn up this corner wall but i'm sure at like your rank and higher you will get this pass a lot more grabbing this boost and turning up the corner wall rather than turning in like you can't do anything when you turn in unless you're going to go for a bump our team does not go for bumps enough i think you can totally start adding that because now you try to go for that and you can't really do anything. You had 100 boost, but now you're going to waste it all and have a really slow recovery. Okay, actually, that was a pretty nuts recovery. You're a god. Here? Where's Brady? Where's Brady on this? I feel like he had a better angle. Oh, wait, no, he did it because he went all the way back. Brady should have been should have been ready for that. This Brady should have been at midfield because he collected pads instead of going all the way back. And you guys would have offensive pressure and he would have a good angle. He could have a shot right now. Brady would be shooting this. This would be a goal if he didn't go all the way back. You almost got him with a gold special. The the off the wall and in the air hockey play. 
Good first touch. Way to give them space, see what they're doing. That was a good time to go for a solo play. I don't think Brady should have committed to this. Yeah, I think everybody just wanted that goal real bad. Because the net was so open here. Honestly, you could just bang this at net. This guy's going for boost. Punish him for going for boost. I think I think you go for air dribbles too much or like aerial possessions. Just bang this on net. He's not getting to that. And hit this off the corner. See, this is another place where you go for solo plays. Look at that. You have Brady mid. You have Brady mid. He's so ready for it. This one, you don't even. All you have to do, literally, hold W and boost. You don't have to flip. You don't have to do anything. And just chip this off the wall like hard, so it goes back out to the center field. Let's look at it from Brady's perspective. I hope he was ready for it. Otherwise, I'll be wrong again. He sees this happening. He's waiting for it. Oh, oh, he sees the juicy pass coming off the corner. His mouth is dripping. Oh, and then he's like, oh, I guess it's not coming. And then he sadly has to get out and be in a really weird position. And you go all the way back. Let's see. How much boost did you have? You have 60 boost here. You flip here, you're going supersonic. Right? Or almost supersonic. Well, I guess that diagonal flip put you in a little bit of a weird spot. Here. Just front flip. And then here, you're like boosting as you jump off. You're like already going to just a wave dash puts you supersonic. You could have, you could have 50 boost right here. And you go all the way back. And Noah maybe could have gone for this instead of going for boost. Because then that just lets you get beat, yeah. Let's see this from Noah's perspective. Oh, he has no boost. Oh, because he used it all. He had plenty of boost. And he could turn in on that. And maybe you have to tell him that it's his turn. When you're here... You just go, oh, that's you, Noah? Because then, yeah, you're forced to, to challenge. And actually, yeah, I don't know if you have to challenge. This is, You can do the fake challenge I talked about right before the game started. Right here, you see that he's up? Just turn around. You did your job. He's going to do this regardless of whether you're jumping or not. Because then you wouldn't, you wouldn't have had to use like any boost and commit that hard. Here, Noah's got this. Just just go back post. But now you're like up his butt. And genius. Genius. You realize that you're probably too far ahead of the play. And you go for a pass downfield rather than just turning around and wasting your time. And you still the boost from them. Ended up going to Brady, but I think that was a good decision to go for it. Unfortunate dunk. This guy just read you. I would have done the same thing. Taking it up the wall. He maybe could have done it a little bit faster, it feels. Yeah, you might have been able to get there a little bit faster, actually. Ah, he probably still would have dunked it. Good bomb. Here, you don't have to commit to this this fast. I feel like you don't trust your teammates right here. Let Brady get this touch. He should have had a better touch. But at this point, you're, you're not getting to this. You have to cover the side of the net closest to you and Noah has to cover the net side of the net closest to him and you guys have to get the save but you guys both just like YOLO if you would have just been waiting back post easy save I remember you saying actually I thought that that shot was gonna be faster but still I think you probably could have saved it if you would have waited there or at least have had a better chance good uh, good job waiting that touch was monster here, yeah, I think you just have to. Uh, what do you see? You see him right here, so I don't think you will want to flip there. But that would have been a really quick reaction. 
It's just gonna happen to wave dash and then flip off the wall. Good job, just waiting. You could have had that touch. That's alright. I've seen you get those. Another, another time. Your teammates have this, dude. Your teammates are in goal. No one has this for sure. He has this. He's gonna jump right here. Nobody's beating him to this. It like worked out, but I don't. Dude, dude, this was one of the saves that I was like, "There's no way." I, I was standing up when I saw that this pass happened. I was literally already standing up at my desk because I was like, "This is going to be the sick, nastiest goal ever." And he hits the angle perfectly. But this man gets the read of a lifetime. The biggest YOLO save ever. And I do think you you pushed up a little bit too far because you probably also thought that that was going to be a goal, or that they weren't going to save it. You probably thought it was going right. At this point, I feel like you either have to get back or fully commit to going for this. But it wouldn't have been really risky to go for it because Brady's there. So I would have just turned around right away. Because now, he puts this on net. He gets a goal. But he hits a weak sauce. Really good clear. Really good clear. Using possession from the back wall. And getting the 50. Beautiful. Can't ask for more. Uh, a little greedy going for their boost, but that's alright. You get out quickly. And do what you can. I want to be a little nitpicky here. Hmm. Where's Brady? I bet he went all the way back for boost. Because he maybe could have let Brady go for this. He has more vision. Ah. Uh, nah, you ain't quick enough. You're good. Really good 50. And then you get beat. Yep. Not much you can do. You could probably rotate more back post here. Instead of going for the middle pads. Right now, you have the option of going for the middle pads or just taking like the left route here and getting one, two, three, four all the way down the side. You take the middle pads and you get one, two, three. You might have been able to get that one as your fifth instead. Okay, now you're facing inside the goal. And like instead of facing towards the ball range. Really good save though with low boost. Ooh, this is tough. Yeah, you gotta get the best touch again. Actually, nutty touch for having no boost and being in that position. You maybe could have let your teammate get this once you have no boost. And I think you called you have no boost. That guy's kind of there, but you can maybe let Noah go for it. I don't know, going for the 50s, alright? Yep. Good use of your camera, looking for Brady. Hard read. Good 50. Alright, I'm not going to do the overtime even though it's really short. Just because I want everybody's uh, replay to be about the same time. So, yeah. Overall, really good stuff. I think try to pass more than going for solo plays. And like when you're going for double touches, I think you have to stop going for the nutty angles and go for the solid pass plays instead. Um, and yeah, you're a lot faster than both Noah and Brady. And so sometimes it might be tempting to cut them off, especially on defense. You just have to trust them. Trust that they're only going to keep getting better and keep getting faster as well. And you're going to have to keep trusting them going forward. But overall, really good stuff. Way to go. Way to get the dub.